Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about my all-time favorite beauty products that are not makeup related. I had originally meant to post this as a year-end favorite video, but I was a little bit late. But we are doing it today anyways because I wanted to show you guys the things that I use outside of makeup every single day. So these are all the products that throughout the last year and beyond I use in my everyday life. And I'm not that bougie of a person when it comes to my beauty products. So most of these are pretty affordable. And I know a handful of these I've never mentioned before on my channel. We're talking hair care, body care, skin care, some tools. I've got it all here for you guys today. It should be a fun one. Before we get into all the products, I wanna give you a special welcome if you are new here. Thank you for joining me. I hope that you enjoy this video. Please consider subscribing before you leave and make sure that your notifications are turned on. With that said, let's get right to it. All right, let's start with some tools. The first thing that I wanted to mention, I, I don't think I've ever mentioned this, but I don't talk a lot about my hair routine, but this is an absolute essential for me every single day. If you see my hair curly, which is almost always, I hardly ever straighten my hair anymore. I am using my blow dryer and diffuser. This one I just picked up at a Marshalls. It is nothing super fancy. It comes with a diffuser on it. Now, if you have curly hair, that is very uneven, as in some parts of your hair are very curly and other parts are completely straight. That's the type of curl pattern I have. I have a lot of curl right here. And then I have areas back here that without a little help, they would almost have no curl at all. So a diffuser is essential for me to get my curl pattern to be a little bit more even. Kind of takes my curl level up a notch. It makes it a little bit more bouncy and curly. So my natural curl pattern is not quite as tight as what you're seeing here, but my diffuser helps me to get that and also helps to dry my hair, which obviously, probably obvious, it's a blow dryer. But I wanted to mention it because I do use it every day. It's not something I ever talk about. And also there was a long time that I did not use a diffuser and I tried to get my curls to behave without the use of a diffuser and I've really come to love what this does for my curls. Let's just stick with some hair care products. So I discovered a new mousse this year. If you've watched my empties videos over the years, you'll know that I used to use the generic value products, which is the Sally Beauty Supply brand mousse that mimics the Paul Mitchell mousse. I've also used the Paul Mitchell mousse. I used to love that one, but I've discovered a new one that I like even more. This one also comes from Sally Beauty Supply, at least that's where I buy it. It's from the brand The Dew. It's their mousse deaf texture foam. This stuff is a lot pricier. I think this is around like $15, $16 per bottle. I love it though. Now you have to be careful with with this I actually cannot put it near the roots of my hair because it, it's a pretty intense mousse it's very gel like it can make your hair very stiff and crunchy and I don't I don't like that so I try to use this more sparingly basically what I will do is after I've kind of towel dried and scrunched my hair a little bit I'll put about three pumps in this on one side and kind of scrunch into the ends of my hair three pumps again and then scrunch it into the other side and I have a lot of hair my hair is long it's thick so if you have shorter thinner hair you probably would not need that much but this mousse does such a good job of giving my hair a little bit of hold taming some frizz and not weighing it down that's probably because I I don't need to use quite as much of this as I used to use with my Paul Mitchell mousse. I have been loving it. I initially bought a bottle of this, I wanna say back in the spring, and I then went on to buy about six backups. So I think I'm on my third or fourth bottle. I also don't go through this one nearly as fast as I did my Paul Mitchell one, which I'm really grateful for. So even though it's more expensive, I don't need nearly as much, so it lasts me a good three months. Each bottle of it does. I am very happy about this. I have tried so many mousses over the years. So many of them either do absolutely nothing for my hair or do horrible things for my hair. Hair, and this is my very favorite one so far. And to go along with that is another product that I've discovered. I know I've mentioned this in a couple of empties videos more recently, I think this past year. It's from the brand Cantu, which is kind of a curly hair brand. You can actually find these at Walmart. Now this specific product, I can no longer find at my local Walmart. I think they might sell it at Target as well. But this is the Define and Shine Custard. This stuff, I talked about it, I wanna say last year sometime, mentioning that it kind of feels like Flarp. If you have kids and you know what Flarp is, it's kind of that like putty stuff in a bottle. It feels a lot like that. It's like one giant slimy lump of goo, but I love what this does for my hair. I basically just put my fingers in into it and kind of coat my fingers and just a little bit of the product. I'll then wet my other hand and kind of rub it together and then just lightly graze over the top of my hair. Let me just, I have a spray bottle here. There we go, let's get a little bit of water. I'll just kind of lightly graze over the top of my hair and it completely tames my frizz. It shapes the curls, especially these ones right here, they get really wild and out of control. 
does a good job of shaping those. It can be a little bit crunchy, so you don't wanna to apply too much. But if I do that and then diffuse my hair, it gives me the most beautiful bouncy curls that are super shiny. A little more on the crispy side than I'm used to, but again, it's just about balancing how much product you're using and then it's not too bad. My hair's still nice and touchable and soft. Probably one of the best products at frizz control that I have ever tried, and it's super affordable. You can get this on Amazon for around $7 a tub, I think. I will link this and anything else I'm talking about today down below for you guys if you are interested. Last hair product I wanted to mention, I have talked about this many times if you've watched my empties videos, you have seen this before. It's my very favorite hair conditioner that's not high-end. And this is the Charcoal with Citrus Oil Detoxifying Hair Treatment Mask. Now this is actually not a very thick mask. When I think of a mask, I think of something that's very, very thick and not very watery. This one's actually kind of it's a little bit more watery than I would assume. Like it's, it's, I don't know, it's a little bit on the thinner side. It's super affordable. You can find this for around $6 at on Amazon. I think that's the only place you can get this now. I love what this does for my hair. I use this as an alternate in my conditioning routine. I usually condition my hair about twice a week, maybe three times a week, every other day or every third day when I shampoo and condition my hair. And I like to rotate this in at least once a week to give my higher end conditioners a bit of a break. I do use a couple of high end conditioners because I think they're probably better for my hair. I use a couple from Olaplex. They do the Olaplex number five on occasion. I have the Olaplex four in one that I'll use about once a week. And then I have a Joico one. I think it's the keratin, the gold and maroon one that I absolutely love as well. But honestly, you guys, the times that I use this alone in my hair and I put a good amount into my hair after I've shampooed and let it sit there for five or six minutes. My hair is so bouncy and soft. My curls behave better on those days. It, it kind of performs better than my high-end conditioners, honestly. I will forever buy this up as long as they make it. I have about six on backup right now because I'm always afraid that it's gonna go out of stock because I can only find it on Amazon. But I will link it for you guys down below. It does amazing things for my very dry hair, but it's not a super heavy hair mask either. Like it's kind of nice and lightweight. Okay, I have a couple lip treatments that I wanted to talk talk about. This has been the year that I've really started to notice the vertical lines starting to appear in my lips, which is so sad. I wish there was something I could do to just slow down the aging process, but it's made me want to pay better attention to hydrating my lips, not just throughout the day, but particularly overnight, because that's where I used to really drop the ball. I would just go to bed at night and wake up in the morning and I could barely open my mouth because my lips were just so dry. I'm sure that's not very good for the vertical lines in your lips. So I've tried to be better about putting treatments on my lips at night before I go to bed. Probably the one that I love the most is kind of nasty and grimy looking, but it works so good. It's just the original Aquaphor healing ointment. Mine is nasty and grimy looking and the lid fell off, but this stuff really works amazingly well. It keeps my lips hydrated all night long. I keep this by my sink at night after I wash my face. I put this on and it does such a good job of keeping my lips nice and soft overnight. The other one that I really like, I do have the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I like that one. I have also used it at night. I actually think I prefer the Aquaphor, mainly for the price difference. I think this one works just as well without the heavy price tag, but I do love the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm. This is the gummy bear flavor. This stuff is so good. This is a good daily moisturizer. If I'm having days where my lips are just extra dry, maybe there's been like a windy cold storm that's come in, just really drying out my lips. Maybe I have allergies. This is what I will keep with me to keep my lips nice and soft. It's so, so good. It works great to keep your lips hydrated, not just for the moment you put it on, but for hours and hours after you apply it. Let's talk about some skincare products. So first off, another product you may have seen if you've watched my empties videos, just the CeraVe moisturizer my very favorite moisturizer. It's very lightweight. If you have dry skin, it does a good job of hydrating your skin, but it's not oily in any way. It just hydrates my skin perfectly. I used to use the Cetaphil, just daily moisturizer. That one is pretty good as well, but I like this one a little bit better because it's a little bit thinner, but hydrates just as well. Also, I have used the store brand of this one as well. It works pretty well. I think it's a little bit more watery than this one is, so I usually just buy the original CeraVe. But it's a great moisturizer. I use it morning and night. And another thing that I use every day, and I actually put this on almost immediately, after I put on my CeraVe, I usually wash my face. If I'm doing some sort of a spot treatment or serum, I'll put that on and let that sink in for a few minutes. Then I'll go in with my CeraVe and immediately after that, I will put on just a little bit of rosehip seed oil. I love this oil. It's super nice. It's a little bit more of a heavy oil, so I use a much lighter amount of this, just a tiny drop of it, but I like to put it on top of my moisturizer to really lock in my moisturizer. This is my favorite trick to do if you have dry skin and you want your foundation to not just apply well, but to not dry out on your skin throughout the day. This, this technique makes my skin hydrated 
all day. I used to find that by the end of the day, my skin would start to feel really tight and kind of dry and almost oily in areas because it felt so dry, which always drove me nuts. That doesn't happen anymore when I use this little technique. Just be careful how much you use. You don't want to apply too much because it will probably break down your foundation. And give it a bit of time to sink into your skin before you go on to a primer or a foundation. Make sure you give it a good like 15 to 20 minutes to soak in. I think this is like my third or fourth four ounce bottle of this stuff. And I don't just use this on my skin. I use it in a small amount on my skin, but I also put it on my neck sometimes at night on the back of my hands just to kind of soften them up. If I have any scars that I want to try and heal, this does a great job of healing scars more quickly. I love it. It's one of my very favorite super basic skincare products. For those of you who get breakouts on occasion, I occasionally get a breakout. It's usually related to something that I have tried that is not agreeing with my skin very well. But there was a time in the past that I got breakouts a lot more than I did now back in my 30s. But on occasion when I do get them, and this is a product that I've actually been using on and off for the last 10 years, is this benzoyl peroxide treatment. This is from Acne Free. I've tried salicylic acid. It does not work for me at all. My skin just does not like salicylic, salicylic acid. But benzoyl peroxide works really well when I have a specific spot that I'm trying to treat you want to be very careful when you use this stuff it heavily dries out your skin so I use it very very strategically I use the tiniest amount just where I need it put it on at nighttime in particular and it will dry out those spots very quickly and this one works better than other 10% benzoyl peroxides I've used. I have a hard time believing that because technically they all have 10% benzoyl peroxide in them. But for some reason, this one seems to work much quicker and much better than the other ones that I've tried. All right, we're getting very close. I also wanted to mention this. This was sent to me by Pacifica last year. This is the Wake Up Beautiful Retinoid Body Lotion. Now I don't use this as a body lotion. I use this as a hand lotion and it is the greatest hand lotion in the world. It's very lightweight and liquidy, but it feels almost like a serum on your hands. It soaks in immediately. It softens up like all the cuticles. If you have really dry cuticles or kind of knuckles, this is so, so nice. It is a little bit pricey. I think it's around like $20, maybe a little under $20. It's not a huge tube. You only get five ounces in here, but you do not need very much. And I only use this on my hands. It stays in my car, in my purse with me at all times. I really need to buy another one to leave down here when I film roll videos to kind of help my hands look a little bit softer because I notice in my close-ups how terrible my hands look sometimes but trust me you guys this is such a good hand lotion if you're very picky about hand lotions feeling too thick or too oily I think you're really gonna love this one I've even had my husband and my son who is a nail biter and has really dry cuticle beds try this and they both really love it too Okay, we're almost there. Just a couple of things left. This is one of the things that is probably the most important beauty product that I use. It's super simple. This is just a store brand apricot scrub cleanser. This is the one with salicylic acid in it. I do not use this on my face. I use this on my body for a couple of things, either to help remove self tanner that's maybe starting to wear off une unevenly. It does a great job at that. But more than anything, if you suffer from those little, I know they have a name. I forget the name of them. They're like little bumps on the back of your arms, on your thighs, or kind of on the back of your legs. I think they're like clog pores or hair follicles. They're so annoying, so unsightly, particularly in the summertime. Trust me, this stuff does wonders for that. I know they make body scrubs and lotions that help with those kind of things, but this is super affordable. I go through it very quickly because I use it on, on my body. So I use quite a bit of this when I use it and I use it about twice a week, especially in the summertime, but it completely smooths out my skin and gets rid of those bumpy areas and makes my skin look really young and healthy and soft again. Such a good product, not for your face, for your body if you have those clog pores. And I know lots of people after you're 40 get them. My husband gets them. I never used to notice those being an issue, but I feel like every year it gets worse and worse and this really helps keep it at bay. Okay, and the last thing I wanna talk about is my self tanner. I, I'm kind of ashamed that I use self tanner. I don't know why, because I feel like there's really no purpose for me to use a self tanner in the middle of the winter when I wear jeans and sweaters almost every single day. But I just like to be tan for some reason, like not super tan, just subtly tan, so I apply self-tanner probably once a week. And there are a couple that I really love. I'm very picky, I don't like anything too intense or too dark. I like the water mousses more than the colored tanning lotions because they tend to stain your sheets really badly. These aren't quite as bad. So I have one that's been my go-to for the last maybe over a year now, and it's the Just Act Natural Natural Glow Bronzy Water Mousse. The last time I went to search for this, it was very difficult to find. I used to be able to find it I think at Walmart and also on Amazon. 
There was a time I had a hard time finding it on Amazon and then I found it again. If I can find it, I will link it for you guys down below. I wanna say it's around 12 to $14 a bottle and a bottle probably lasts me probably like three months because I only use it about once a week. But I love this stuff. It gives you a really nice, subtle, natural looking tan that's not too intense. It's not gonna be too streaky because it's not super bronze or super dark, but it's definitely noticeable. I love the color that it gives me. It's nice and warm, but it's not too orange, at least on my skin. And it's really easy to apply. You have to get the hang of it because it doesn't show when you put it on. It kind of tans as it sits on your skin. So you have to be very intentional of where you're applying it so you don't skip any areas or get it in areas that you don't want it to be. But that's just kind of learning process with any self tanner. If you're into self tanners, you'll probably be familiar with that learning curve. Another one that I found more recently, this one I found back in October at, I think it was in a Marshalls, maybe a TJ Maxx. This is from the brand Tan Lux. It's the Hydra Mousse Self Tan water mousse. This stuff, you guys, is the best self-tanner I've ever tried. Now, I did go on Amazon to try and find this and price it out. It's way expensive. It's like $49 a bottle. I am not sure that I would buy it for that price. I do think it's better even than this one right here. The color is a little bit more natural looking and it's the tiniest bit darker than the B-Tan, but the price difference is pretty steep. So I don't know that I'll be buying this again. I actually bought a two pack of this. This is my first bottle. So I think I bought it in October and I've used about a half a bottle. I don't know that I will go back and buy a 49 bottle of this stuff. I feel like at that price, it'd be best for me just to abandon my self tanning obsession. But if you don't mind spending a little bit on a self tanner, this stuff is really fantastic. All right, and the last thing that I have to share with you guys, this was a discovery in the year 2023, towards the end of the year, actually, but I've been so impressed with it and surprised at how I lived without this thing that I wanted to show you guys today. And it's probably something you're totally familiar with. This is from JCat Beauty. This is the dry makeup brush cleaner. Basically, this is just a tin that has a dry sponge inside and you use it to clean off your brushes in between colors. And then you can pull this thing out and wash it. This stuff works so well. I cannot believe that I lived without this thing. I've usually just been using like a dry rag that sits on my lap, which does fine, but this does so much better at pulling the color off of the brush. I don't know how I lived without this thing. I'm pretty sure I heard someone talk about this many years ago, but I just never got around to picking one up. And I'm so glad that I finally did because I have been using the heck out of this thing and I absolutely love it. But I think that is all. Those are all the beauty products that I have used to death during 2023. And I am sure I will continue to use these during in the coming year. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Kind of a behind the scenes peek into the beauty products I use outside of makeup because I'm not that bougie of a person. I know I love my Natasha Denona eyeshadows, but other than that, I'm kind of frugal. And I think it showed in some of these products today, but hopefully it gave you guys some affordable products to try out for yourself. I love all of these, I swear by them. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Let me give you one last reminder to subscribe to my channel before you leave and I will see you in my next video. Bye.